Hello everyone, I'm Jacob Kaufman, I'm the Nerd in the Street, and today we are talking about KDE Elisa. Okay everyone, so a while back I mentioned that my favorite Linux music player called Banshee got discontinued. I'm pleased to say that I have found a complete replacement for it. KDE Elisa is my music player of choice. I use it pretty much any time I'm listening to music for fun on my computer. It looks nice, it has all the functionality I need, and it's a pretty simple program, so without much further ado, I'm going to get right into it and show you guys KDE Elisa. All right, and here we are on the desktop. We'll go ahead and open up KDE Elisa here. And this is what it looks like when it first opens up. It's a pretty simple design. Uh, the default view is an album grid view, which I love. And we'll go ahead and start playing something. You can either scroll through your albums and see what you want to find, or there is a search bar at the top. So we'll just search here. And in the album grid view, you've got three buttons when you hover over an album. You can queue up the entire album to play. You can just play the entire album or you can click this folder button in the middle to open the album up and see the songs inside. As you can see, I actually only have one song from this album right now, and once again, you can either queue up the song or you can click play to start playing it immediately. So at the top right of the program, we do have a volume slider, and this is actually a pretty nice volume slider. And the reason I say that is because it does not just control the volume of the song. It actually hooks in with Pulse Audio if you're using it on your Linux computer. And as you can see, if I open up a Pulse Audio mixer here, Elisa has its channel in Pulse Audio's output, and when I move this uh, volume slider up and down, it actually affects the global Pulse Audio volume that's showing up in our mixer there. And likewise, if I go into our mixer and I move this around, you can see that's reflected in the volume slider in the program. So that's really, really helpful if you're using this for any sort of production. Let's say you're playing some music in the background of a live stream. You're going to really like having this linked in with Pulse Audio so you don't have to worry about which volume slider is controlling what because uh, it's all linked right together. All right, so we can go and find another song here. Going to kind of jump around to avoid copyright strikes if we can. Um, if you click the play button, that will immediately replace what you're listening to. It will just start playing the new song. And at the top of the screen here, you can see I really like KDE Elise's design. Um, you've got your song title, your um, artist, your album. You do have your full album art here, but then you've also got this really great blur effect. Um, Elisa puts a, a blurred and zoomed in version of your album art in the background of the top of the program, as you can see. And I have not come across a single album that makes this look bad. It looks good with every single album art that I've seen. Um, huge props to the Elisa developers for making this sleek effect, because it really does make the whole program look really polished. Uh, so if you do want to queue up a song instead of playing it immediately, you can click the in queue button like I said. So you can see now it says one track remaining in the queue and there's another track underneath what's currently playing. We can switch to that track by clicking the next song button. Right? And then the point of the queue is that you can kind of queue things up and rearrange them uh, without necessarily needing to be playing them while you're doing it. So if I add another song to the queue here, let's say I don't actually want to play that song next, I made a mistake, uh, before it starts playing it's really easy, you can just go in and click remove from the queue, and that's that. Alright, and next up we'll take a look at the other views here. Like I said, the default view is the album view, uh, with all of your album art in a grid. You can also look at this through the artist view. Um, as you can see, I don't have any artist pictures on my system right now, which is fine. It's not like that's in the song's metadata or anything. By the way, to get the album art to show up, I made a video about how to do that for iTunes songs a little while back on this same channel, so make sure to check that out if you're using Elisa or any other Linux media player. Um, and then you can also just view all of the tracks on your, uh, on your system just in song view. And then once again, there's a search bar at the top. So... Yeah, we'll go ahead and play something from that. And another thing I love about KDE Elisa is since it's a KDE program, it's got really great KDE Connect functionality. So if I were to get a call right now on my phone, KDE Elisa would actually pause the music when my phone starts ringing. And then if I pick up the call, as soon as the call ends, KDE Elisa will start playing the song again. I discovered that earlier today while trying to record this video a little earlier and I received a phone call in the middle of it. Uh, but in addition to that, on my phone, I can actually go here and let me start a screen recording.
and on my phone, if I am running the KDE Connect indicator on my computer, which I am right now, um, as you can see in my notifications while I'm playing music, um, on Android I can pause and play the song right there in my notifications. I can also open up the KDE Connect app. We can get that playing again. I can actually skip around in the song if I want to. Uh, I can adjust the volume remotely as you can see there, and then even if I turn my phone off and back on, look at this, the album art is in the background of my phone right now. Um, so yeah, and even just from my lock screen, I can pause and play music, or at least pause. So yeah, um, still a couple rough edges to be worked out with KDE Connect, but it's really cool that the functionality is there, um, and that is built into this program. Alright, and then we'll go ahead and get another song playing here. Right, and over in the Now Playing view, you can see above the albums, artists, and tracks. Um, all that this Now Playing view does, it doesn't do a whole lot, it just kind of slides out your cues so that you can work with it um, a little bit easier, it makes it a little bit bigger, and then it does show your album art again right here, even though it's right up there at the top of the program to begin with, so um, not a whole lot of points to the Now Playing menu. Personally, I usually just keep it in album view. Um, just about 100% of the time that I'm using this program personally myself. But that is there if you are wanting to really dig into the, the queuing and order things up how you like them. Um, it, like I said, if you're doing a live stream and you want to be DJing yourself here, then this would be a good view to use. So we can uh, grab something else here. And we'll take a look at the top right of the program. You can see this is where our menu is at. Now there's not a whole lot in here. We do have our configuration dialog box here. And the only thing you can do from the configuration so far is select which uh, folder you're pulling your music from. Um, now this setting does work for me. Um, supposedly, things can get a little confusing with Elisa, whether or not you're using the built-in local indexer versus KDE's Baloo file indexer, which is sort of like GNOME's tracker that's supposed to track everything on your system. Um, I think I have Baloo installed, I don't know if it's running or not, but I do know that this setting does work for me, and it, it usually does work for me. Um, as you can see, I don't just have my music folder added here because my regular music folder in addition to my iTunes library it also has a bunch of royalty free music that I don't want in my personal music playing application here um, so yeah I've got music slash music added here and that's all that shows up so this setting does work aside from that there's not a lot else in the menu uh, let me go ahead and play something else once again, trying to avoid copyright strikes, I that's probably going to get a copyright strike anyway, I'm playing so many songs, but uh, the rest of the menu here is just standard KDE stuff. We can configure some shortcuts, um, not a whole lot, just some basic UI stuff. Like I said, this is just because it's a KDE application that it's got this. You can't uh, adjust your playback shortcuts or anything with that, so you have to do that through your, your system settings for whatever desktop environment you're using. Uh, but there is a button to report a bug, open up the handbook, or, you know, see the, just the standard KDE about um, area here. So that's that in the menu. Alright. And, yeah, like I said, this is a fairly simple program. Not a whole lot to it, it does work. But yeah, since Banshee got discontinued a while back, I had been looking for a really good Linux music player. I hadn't been able to find one. Uh, Quad the Bet was what I had been using until Elisa was created. Um, but I just wasn't super happy with Quad the Bet as a whole. It, it was a little buggy, it didn't look great, um, especially not on KDE. But I'm not even on KDE Plasma right now as my desktop. I'm on Mate, you can see Elisa still works just fine. So whatever desktop environment you're on, I would highly recommend KDE Elisa. It's the perfect combination of simplicity and, uh, and features for me. You know, you, we've got the album grid, so it's better than just looking through your file system. Uh, but there's not all kinds of, of stuff rammed in, like pretty much all other KDE music players, like Clementine and uh, Vave and things. Um, Elisa is very simple and easy to use. It's like no music, um, except it's actually under active development and it works. So yeah, I would I would highly recommend Elisa. 
And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments section below if anyone has questions or comments about this. You can also discuss Elisa and other free and open software over at the forums at nerdinthestreet.com. Uh, but for now, that's everything to Elisa. So I'm Jacob Kaufman. I'm the Nerd in the Street, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.